15 minutes to the closing bell. This is a chart of a daily NASDAQ comp, MMTs. And what I would like to tell you is that um, when the NASDAQ comp had led the market down before the Dow went down, and it led the, the 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 broader market was led with technology, taking everything down along with inter internet stocks, uh, rather it was semiconductors, uh, things that are very weak, and uh, this was the 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 two day rally, and today we gap down. But here's something that I want to point out to my MMTs. Now, basically, when we take a look at the 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 two hundred day. And the 10-day, the 200-day simple moving average uh, MMT is a green line. There's the blue one. And you'll notice that we had called for a short-term oversold market. And it was time to get long. And the bear was going to get squeezed. And they did. When you take a look at this triple bottom with the engulfing buy action there, and it's coming right back, because we were due for a rally. And when the Dow was down over 200 points today, and the S&P was about to break major support level, this NASDAQ comp was outperforming. And we always like to see that short-term oversold markets act just like this right here. The triple bottom, the gap up day, the resistance levels right here at the neckline. That's this area right here where we had that reversal to these lows. We held it, and then they came right back in today. And what's it really contributed to? Just as I've always said, that we were oversold and that we would be buying these dips and that when you were below the green line, that was very bearish to be selling down below the 200-day moving average. But on a percent level, it didn't go far enough behind it. You had that big up day on 621 right here. That's, you know, and this is the perfect time where you get this oversold on a daily that you're going to bounce. And the thing about it is the oil was helping it. We had sold down. The market tried to price in the contagion with Greece the austerity plans that they're doing and all of that stuff that's headline event price upside volatility and downside volatility started with the gap right down here but it held this major trend line and they came right back in and it's a bullish move in a short term because you're closing above the daily simple moving averages and we'll talk more in depth about it just remember one thing that we said that we were putting a bottom in here and that the bear better be careful, but that you would have extreme upside volatility and downside volatility and learning how the broader markets price things in in certain sectors. That's why this NASDAQ is up and this Dow has bounced well off 100 points off the bottom, just like we said this morning. And this is the pattern that when you have short-term oversold markets and huge, huge uh, drop in oil today and provided great for the airlines but these beaten down tech stocks and uh, internet stocks and 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 software and semiconductors uh, yes we shorted them down to the bottom but we knew when to get out and MMTs you've learned what this means now we're going to be going more about how we go up and remember that short-term oversold is short-term oversold. That's why you have the support. You have the buying. So out of four days, you can see here, one day, two day, three day, four day. But look at the buy side. Much bigger. And look at how that bottom got put in. And it's all done in this week. But this is what happens at short-term oversold markets.